All right, so friends, welcome. Uh, we're doing a little off-season content here for Murders of Carlisle Manor Draft. you got Thunder Junction coming up, but not quite. And our run was so fast in the uh, actual Bronze Mythic because I was like, we killed it, right? We came at the under big time. So we're in Mythic, we're doing a draft, and uh, we'll just rock it and see how it goes. Let's do this. Perhaps our last Murders Draft of all time. That's right. As we move on to Thunder Junction. Oh, that's fun. So unfortunately, we opened up a really good black rare. Uh, and also opened up Sir Conrad the Grim. Pretty busted list card. This is a card from Throne of Eldraine. Five mana for a 5-4. Whenever another creature dies, or a creature card is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield, or a creature card leaves your graveyard, this deals one damage to each opponent, and then each player mills. Card's pretty busted, honestly. And, uh... It's, I, I don't know, but it's better than, than Haunted Bone Brood is, which kind of sucks. It's like, I would love to slam this card and be then just try it out because I haven't played it before. I might just take it. It's our last draft, honestly. Let it ride. And then we're doing, uh, I want everyone's, everyone's thought about murders. What's everyone's grade for the format? I asked chat, and I'll give my grade in a moment. I'm just taking it. I'm just going to take it. Bone Brood's obviously better, but like, I just want to have fun in the last draft. And the list cards come around so infrequently that you never see them, so... Maybe we'll just try and do the graveyard deck, right? Just like try. We'll just try. Give, give it one last shot, you know? All right. So there's there's also a chalk out one in the back too. Oh, sick. I didn't realize that. That's awesome. So uh, Confession here is probably going to be our pick. Uh, sewers is great too. I think, again, I might take Sewers if I wasn't going to try and force this deck. Uh, but this is what it is. Black will be open in at least two packs. Black's also the worst color by far. So it's always, almost always open. So... Let's take the confession and we'll just move in. We're trying. We're gonna try and do the green black graveyard deck. This is like one of the decks that's, that's almost impossible to actually make function, and we're gonna do it right now because that's what we're trying to do here. So, um, it's funny because the the gravestone trier is a big part of that actually, being able to exile two cards in a graveyard, which is kind of cool. Um, your card leaves your graveyard. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, like, tips is obviously a much better than the card. We should take tipster, I guess, but. Uh, yeah, Case Trample Garden. Not too much else here. Kind of a thin back. Uh, but yeah, I'll take, I'll take Tipster. And we got a Shadowy Backstreet, a Slice from the Shadows, a Sanitation Automaton. Um, this is a normal Murders Draft. We did a few Chaos Drafts also. I want to see if those go watch the YouTube on the off. See, something in the land here. Slice is like okay, but. It's just, like, not great. And the land just, like, really good in this deck, I think. This is, this is, the surveil is so good. Yeah. Taking a land. Capacity Topiary Panther, which is also reasonable. Um, yeah, I mean, decent start. The goal is to try and get, like, the good cards late. Like, the, the Insidious Roots, so on and so forth. Late Dogwalker. Kind of weird, but let's take the Inspector here. It's pretty good in our deck also. Nothing like forcing them one of the first decks and the worst deck in the format before we have for our last draft, you know? Macabre returns two creatures. This card can be fine in these decks, honestly, uh, as a one of. And nothing else here is even remotely playable, so sure. District, I mean, I, I, I would play a green tap line that surveils in this deck, so I think we're in. Uh, we have now Backstreet and District. We have two surveil lands in our colors, which is great. And then Hellion, Crocodile, or whatever. Automaton's fine, but whatever. Yeah, take the land. So, now, I don't remember if there was or not, because the chat said there was. Was there a chalk outline of his pack? Yes or no? I don't remember. Uh, Alice is fine for us, obviously, too. If there was a chalk outline and it didn't table, that's probably really bad for us. But, take the analyst. There was. That's really bad. All right. Uh, chat says no. Chat says yes. Just... No idea what's going on, obviously. I don't know what's going on either, though, so... Alright, so... Whatever. Take some cards. After pack one, I would say we're in... Okay shape. But not great shape, you know? We got Sir Conrad. Got some ways to get it back. Definitely a fun card. Yeah, I, I, I think that you might have uh, mistaken it for the... Uh, the Pick Your Poison, they look kind of similar. All right, Pack 2, help me out. Pack 2 will give us an officious interrogation. Still a piece of garbage. Not so good. Uh, also, a Leg Up, a Radical, a Panther, Automaton. Not a great pack. 
So this card's on the list. There are like 40 or 50 cards or whatever that are just like in the set that are in other sets. It's it's weird and confusing and obtuse, and I don't really have a good... Uh, good, uh, good. I don't have anything good to say to you, honestly. They're, uh, they're, 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 I do like the guest cards, but, these are, but when they're not like in a special board or whatever, it's like not clear what's going on, so it's kind of weird, but they are fun, you know, but we're radical here. Uh, second Panther, probably unnecessary. Radical's just fun, so... It's not special guest, just the list, which is even more confusing. But, all right, so tipster, inspector, or agent. Uh, I am a big fan of tipster. Uh, I am also a fan of agent in these decks, though. And then inspector is good, too. We'll take tipster, though. Hopefully, we'll table this. Maybe, but take tipster. We get Undercity Eliminator and the Whipcracker. Both good cards. Also, a murder, too. So, black's super open like it always is. The problem is, like... It's hard to just put this together. Uh, what's a better card, Whipcracker or Eliminator? Um, we don't really have any fodder creatures yet. I think it, the Cracker's just better. Just like killing a 2-2, killing a Clue is pretty good. This card's like fine but clunky. You might even table on us with a murder in the pack too. So, Whipcracker. Buried in the Garden. I love Buried in the Garden. Um... Buried in the Garden's really good. You know, we already, we already have a white source, too. I do like splashing in my green decks, but, like, again, I want to build the graveyard deck. I want to not just do my usual green splashy deck. I'm taking that freaking confession. Um, card's very good in this deck. Buried in the Garden is really good. I, I get it. I understand. Yeah, I'm taking the confession. Um, I'm staying the course. God damn it. Somebody's playing a prank card. All right, sure, whatever. If I knew this card was coming, I would take a bear in the garden, all right? Fine, I get it. But uh, I'm taking it anyway, so. Three Surveillance, a Mist Veil Plains. Uh, Creeper's fine. We're just not seeing any graveyard stuff at all. Like, Screen Black Deck is so, like, tough to do. Uh, scene of the crime, case of a trampled garden. This card's not very good in our deck, but I think the offender might even be a better, just like a random two drop. But I'm gonna take this. All right, uh, just stone blank back. Analysis is like not super exciting for us. Corn or also not. Yeah, all right, this is bad. Taking the gems. Uh, yeah, I like the case, but only if you're very aggressive. Uh, if you're not, it can be very, very finicky. Might make the deck, but I would hope not, honestly. Mistvale Plains for Sir Conrad is pretty cute. It requires like a white permanent in play too or whatever, so that's a lot. You're getting all the gems here, though. All right, Sanguine Savior is the card I would I want to play. Actually, we have, we have two white sources. This card's actually a lot better if you can cast it, so could make the deck. Man, where are the cool cards for our deck? We're playing like the worst deck ever, and there's just no, no open cards for us. We got this, though. We're good. This card's fine. Playable, for sure. We're at 15-ish playables. Pack three, we open up a... Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh, my God! All right. Azoni's here to rescue us. Azoni's like, oh, all your cards suck, but you're playing green-black. <laughs> I got you. All right? I got you. Uh, Let's take it before it goes away. Easy game. Force the worst color combination to open the best rare. Azoni shouldn't be viewed as a green black card. Azoni should be viewed as a uh, like a green card. You just splash it whatever deck. Uh, one of the best rares in the set. Obviously insane. Um, so yeah, uh, we got our our Scrylands here. What's next? Muffins two, please. Ah, uh, crap. All right. So I see a Tulsa and I get excited, but it's double white. We just can't even cast it. Which sucks. Nidmiz is also not really our thing. And there's just no other playable cards in this pack. Oh, my God. Uh, there's actually, like, not a single playable card for our deck in this pack. I'm just taking Tulsimer. I, I doubt we can... I, we're, I doubt we're going to play it, but, like, there's just not a playable in this pack at all. So, whatever. Just take it. I don't want to end up like the the freaking, you know, 
the rare green splash deck that I always do because obviously it's fun, it's good, but like there's a, a Sumo Sentry. I mean, I don't have any morphs really either though. Bad. Uh, all our black cards are pretty bad. Alright. Damn century. Crojan Tusker. I love Crojan Tusker. I actually have never played this card before. Surprising. In this in this in this, this format, obviously. Sure, let's take it. Another trampled garden, a gorehound, a fanatical strength. Alright, so here's our inflection point. We take the gorehound and keep doing the green. There is no graveyard stuff though. It's like nothing. I guess square it's good with this card. But This card's bad in our deck. Eh, whatever. Just take this freaking thing. I wonder if they up the list cards, just like turn the knob up. Like, whatever. Who cares? It's boring. You know, sets, sets, sets up those overs, turn the knobs up, you know? Why Tusker race, race so low? Three mana for a cycle is really bad. Like, this card was phenomenal, like old school magic. But, like, in modern day magic, like, you can't spend three mana and not, not affect the board, you know? So we got another Analyst, which doesn't really do much in our deck. And then a Glint Weaver, which is kind of awesome. So take the Weaver. So we're at 21 playables here. Kind of like, kind of not counting Tulsimer because like it's just double white, we can't really cast it. We also have a case in our board as well. We actually have like no morphs. And one, two, we have like one, two, three, and a few morphs. Uh, presumed dead. Assemble the players. One, two, three, four, five, six. Players not very good in our deck. I mean, I guess they went this way. Mm. Good old Crozier Tusk here. An old friend shows up. Look at those tusks too, right? Uh, super late gear drake and then a slime against humanity damn man that's not good uh okay another century i should have no freaking i should have no morphs oh century's so good too i'll take it i mean we got a few morphs threatening card too what would silvos rogue elemental look like if it was designed 2024 i don't want to know like a 14 10 Regenerate, draw five cards, enter the battlefield, et cetera, et cetera. I actually don't hate, don't hate, don't hate this case. Um, I played it before, not been not been disgusted by it. Um, I would say we're probably not playing Tulsimer. Yeah, we're not playing Tulsimer. I mean, maybe we're playing. I don't even know. All right, so pretty pretty sad looking deck here. We're trying to make this work, but. Pretty bummed we saw, like, zero roots, zero chalk outlines, zero all the stuff that I've, I've wanted to do, but, like, it's just so bad. They like our deck. They're calling They're calling an Abzan. They're calling an Abzan. All right, so we have Panther and Trust Tusker. Um, confessions. We only have, what? We have one, two, three... Four. We have four morphs in our deck for two sumo centuries. <laughs> ah! All right. Um. I mean, case the gore. I guess is really bad. Like it can be fine, but like not in this deck. Um. I guess we're just playing Tulsimer. We'll just play two planes and whatever. Like we have Panther and Tusker. Obviously, our black cards are like. Like, it makes the Gorehound a lot worse. But we're just, like, pretty short on playables, too. Could just cut the Gorehound and play the Case. Yeah, that's too bad, I guess. We don't actually have any graveyard stuff, so. And now we're, like, green, double splashing, black, and white for the most part. Eh, it's fun. Um, we're playing they went this way also, which is, like, I hate playing this card, but, like, we kind of just need to, so. Um, sure. All right, I mean, it's a deck. It's not the best deck of all time, but it's a deck. <laughs> a lot of cool lands, though, right? Got a lot, of, a lot of rares in our deck, right? Eh? A lot of rares. All right, 
right, so we're gonna add uh, two planes, a bunch of forests, a couple swamps. This is eight, five, four. Green finds the other colors too. And most of the black cards are like later game cards anyway, so we have some doubles, but like they're really costly cards, so and the green will find the black also, so might be nine green. Yeah, I think so. Alright, so there you go, folks. Our last murders draft. It's time to make your prediction. What do you think? Seven wins, yay or nay? Who's brave enough to choose Believer on this deck? All right, place your bets. YouTube folks, like a second, pause the video, scroll the comments. Liking the video along the way. And Believer or non-Believer, all caps. When you spell the name, what do you think? And uh, let's go. All right, here we are. The old analyst. Come on down. We're going to keep. Get these non-Believers out of here. Get Chad in here. I'm not sure why, but here they are. Our last murders draft. We're in the numbers. Can we finish in the numbers? I hope so. There's a lot of believers, actually. I'm pretty surprised. So, we should draw a land. We did not draw a land. Alright. Analyst is going to mill over some stuff. We're going to mill over land. And two kind of crappers. Great. She draw land, folks. We draw land. And we're good to go. Any untap land? Tap. I'll take tap land, too. Whatever. Just give me any land. Look who's here. Aww. A naked inspector. We draw the land! <laughs> Bingo! Alright, they went this way. Planes, please. Trying to assemble Tron to cast our Tulsimer. Let's take go. Forest, forest, forest. They're going to charm to search for a creature or land. It's an instant. They can just wait it, obviously, but sure. Um, they find a sewers. It's pretty gas. So, why don't you draw a land here? Just play sentry and morph this thing. All right, tap land's fine, too. Uh, we can go morph savior, next turn sentry on morph, which is actually pretty good. Let's, uh, lush portico. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that, too, I guess, right? Actually, if I bin it, it makes the animals better. Let's do that. Bin that. Play a morph. Say yeah. Alright, so... We have... Uh, sentry, unmorph, attack for a bunch. Or... Crack the Analyst, get ma extra mana, and cast Cleaver. Both good options. I'd buy your surveillance now. That'd be a good idea, yeah. Extract a Confession, whatever. So, Sentry... Flip it. Rip it. Pump them up. Show yourself. Make your own Bane Slayer. We got the case. Probably be more next turn, so. Okay, bye, Karn. And step Gardener, sure. They get a planes. They're also off the radar. Love it. Draverage, uh, honestly, it's funny because it looks dumb to play Archer's Charm in your four-color deck, but, like, you're usually just playing six or, or, or nine or ten forests anyway, so. Makeshift Binding. It's fine. Don't worry about it. For, for your sure. We draw a Macabre, Macabre Reconstruction. Uh, that's fine. So, two, three, four, five... Pretty sure we just analyst here. It sucks. I want to draw a land. I, mean, I want to draw a card with this uh, clue, but we can just analyst, get back two lands, play play we, we were next turn. Other options aren't that exciting, um, realistically. Returning these two is pretty bad. They exile my flyer. Yeah, I'll just say go. We could like crack the clue, and if we don't draw a land, play the case, I guess. That sort of works. I'll just do that. So I can get a guy for two lands isn't like insane or anything, so. Whipcracker. There are no whips to crack. Um I play the case. An unsolvable case. Solve. 
Yeah, not exactly like how you want to use this card typically. Like, it's more of an aggro card, but whatever. It's fine. Look who's back. So we're in, like, pretty good shape. I mean, our hand's pretty good. Our board's fine. We're at 23. Got some card advantage. Bite down on crime. Aww. Tag with a 5-2 Furtive Courier. And now if I block, obviously I can't Aftermath Analyst. So is that an okay place to be is the question. I think he's going to loot more too. I'm not going to block. Play a token. Yeah, play a token. We'll draw land. Um, now he can Cracker and then Crack Analyst also. But now he might not even want to because now he's two lands worth an Analyst. We have a Surveil land, which is kind of cute. Um, they're not really doing much, you know. Let's just play this guy and say go. Been able to Weaver on the Pride yet? This limit is, What's the Pride? Yeah, recon, having a recon or move spell is pretty good. You know, it's like we're pretty well set up for the late game. I have not weaved on the pride note. Kaya! Glad to be here. Your right. That's problems. bad. Um, I guess we're going to get trampled. This case is going to be pretty important for us. We have reach too, so. I'm the best ghost hunter. Worst job in the analyst. I don't want to cast this next turn for sure, so. Crack the analyst. Get some lands. Surveil. I'm gonna keep. This can sacrifice. Oh, wait. This can make. They can exile a creature they control to kill my creature. Ugh. This card, this card's like so good. It's like so bad constructed, but like it's actually like really good limited. Um, shit. Uh, oh, man. I'm going to dump this. Of course, we draw land. Oh, boy. All right. Um,. So we can like Glint Weaver and then Damn. We wanna solve the case. We wanna be able to also be able to be able to attack Kaya. It's like, like Weaver. Make them sack the courier. So I need to have five toughness on my guy. So we go here and here. That doesn't even work, actually. Uh, God, man. So this six power, three, four, five. If I just pump this, though, they're going to sacrifice and kill it, which sucks. Um, I'll pass the case, though. Oh, man, this sucks. All right, let's target here. Confession... Evidence. Goodbye. Spell. I guess scoundrel. I guess these. All right. And then we'll attack the thing. They 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 can chump block with. They're blocking with the spirit, which seems really wrong. So you want to keep that for the minus ability. I'm sorry, no, it's, exile, it's, not, it's not exile token control, it's exile creature control, sure. So, block with spirit. Damn planeswalkers, you know. Obviously, we can reconstruct these things too, which is nice, so. If they were to kill the cracker, getting it back is actually insane for us, so. They want to kill us. So solving the case is huge here because, like, the case pushes the trample over the tokens, which is huge. So, all right, that's good for us. 
Solve a case. And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kid. Now if they sacrifice a creature to kill my 6-5, um... Oh, it exiles if it sucks for this thing, but... Um, now I can trample attack the Kai again, and it goes down, they lose a creature too. Come on, man. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Alright, I guess you win. <laughs> Uh, sure. Why not, I guess. Alright, uh, yeah, remember, folks, we're brought to you by... Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Tipsters, eh? Got a little tip. You're killing me, small. Alright. I'd like to get both tipsters play before I morph this. Oh, they're coming in though. They're coming in with beats. Coming in hot. Alright, here's Tipster. If they're like a good Boros deck, our hand's probably not great here, but. Damn. We got a block. We block all day here. We gotta. No, they're passing priority. They have a stupid. Uh, they have a stupid plus two plus zero card. Crap, we're dead. All right, no blocks. Oh great, we're losing, 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 losing frames now. Awesome. Um, that was a good draw. We can go Sentry and Tipster. Here come the beats again. Uh, again, think we think they have the plus two plus O card. That makes our blocks really bad. We could try and just like tipster block the the code breaker and just trade one for one, I guess. I'm playing savior next turn, but I can't flip it. I only have to play four green mana. I'm just gonna block. I'll, I'll, it'll be a two two, but like I don't think that matters. I'm just gonna block. Sucks. They have a shock that would suck also, but yeah. Yeah, plus two plus up. As predicted. Would have gotten blown up this thing block two, so don't want to do that. They play a morph. We draw another sentry. Oh no. Now nah, I wish I had played the uh Actually, this is fine. This is fine. So if we can just, like, not die here, that'd be really cool. We're gonna have a Bane Slayer. Let's ship this. Play a Morph. So we have a 1-1, one, one, a 1-3, one, and now we can go untap. Oh, we can't. We're short on white mana. We can't go Sentry and flip this. Crap. Because that, that, that would make a 4-3 Lifelinker Flyer, which probably would be enough to maybe swing this game, but they don't have, like, a bunch of good stuff here, too. Yeah, I'm totally getting a clue. Here comes the face down card and the code breaker. I don't love it. Um, I'm gonna block like this, I think. Drawing a planes or a swap would be excellent. Sure. Make the block, see what happens. It is a, ugh, a basher. That's a lot. We draw the planes, but now we're taking this double strike. Actually, we can block, we can bless, bless block it now. That was actually sick. All right. So now you play Sumula Sentry. Flip this thing. We get counters everywhere. 
Um, so you have a 2 4 Life Linker with Reach. These block this. Or one of these can trade with this. We gain four here. I mean, like, if they have nothing left, we have a chance this game, which is pretty insane. So. 2 4 against the 3 2 double strike. I ain't checking we're dead, we're dead, obviously. But. We have to block this thing. Hope it just trades. You'll get a swamp. This card's so good. What about a morph deck? Like a maybe a historic freshly brewed. Pawns of a tank. We're blocking. What can I do but block? Got a trick? Got a trick. Double blocking is not a good idea, I think. Wow, you got a trade? Nope, they have a trick. Oh, it's it's it. oh my god! So I guess double block would have worked out there. The problem is if they have like some sort of a, a actual pump spell, we, we can get wrecked. Oh my god, they had everything. Alright, well, instead of having nothing, they had everything. So that's kind of bad for us, but... Um, let's get a swamp. And then we'll just draw a card. We always tap lands in our deck, so... Let's draw... Sure. I mean, hopefully they just have nothing. I mean, that was a lot last turn, right? They had, like, literally, like, the two best answers. Not the two best, but... Yeah, they should have shot the thing first, I guess, but... They discard a Rift Burst Hellion. Oh, come on. Man. Alright, I guess the bonus got our number here. Uh, that was a pretty sick uh, turn. They, they, they did loot a few times, though, so, like, the next is pretty good as well. But, alright, yeah, what are you gonna do? That sucked. Alright. Um, yeah. I mean, he's black, obviously, but this is fun. Of these guys. What's going on here? What's going on? Only ever the upload speed. Download is always fine. Upload just drops to nothing. Sometimes. Very frustrating. Most folks wouldn't even notice. Alright, we're gonna keep this. Try to find a swamp. Case of a fish falcon. As flies were attracted to crap, I was attracted to cases. Keep the swamp, nailed it. So, I'm just gonna tip, sir. Um, Team or Tron and a morph. I'm going to be a master of these guys. We draw. A t All right, so we can just like send your tips for now. That's fine. Fortunately, our deck is just kind of lacking in morphs, even though we have all these morph cards, but. Now I can went this way and then eat them. I probably should actually eat them. I don't know why I didn't. I should, I should, I should eat, eat them first. Should have not played Sentry and eat, eat them. Now they're going to Falcon me. Maybe they'll be greedy and give me more than one thing. Yeah, I should have killed this. That was dumb. Playing Sentry there over playing Extract is really, really bad. So, they're going to give me the clue, a land, and the case. I'm going to kill this thing. Let's take back the land. So, I get a free clue. I guess they drew a card too, but... Uh, I'll just block. Alright. I mean... I have Inspector too. That's shitty, but... Alright, so now I can't confess and kill the, Val the Falcon anymore. That sucks. 
Alright, whatever. Um, I'm gonna crack their clue, actually. Let's start there. It's a good card. Uh, okay. I guess we're just gonna work towards that, then. I mean, killing the inspector with an extract is not really great. Let's do this. Get a swamp. Say go. We're mad up, we're mad up next turn anyway. We'll just say go. Drew says, hey, Jim. Been doing pioneer testing for Pete for RCQs. I play Angels in the Vampire deck you guys built. Feels like a free win as the Flyers life can gets around the Bay River easily. Doubt you ever played the matchup before, but you know the two decks. What do you think about the matchup in theory? I would say your assessment, your assessment seems reasonable. Um, four Fatal Push is probably not enough to contain the larger Angels. Yeah, that's probably probably pretty good for you, I, I would assume. <clears throat> and you're right, the life gain does mitigate the Ripper a lot too, so. I mean, if you can get the Angel that good against both Phoenix and uh, and uh, and Vampires, it would not be a bad place to be, honestly. Oh my god! This won't stop. Just the biggest booties you've ever seen. Okay. Um, let me draw this. We have all these sentries and no freaking morphs. Uh, that's next bad. All right. Uh, I mean, now these these are just awful. Almost our entire hand is awful. It's actually embarrassing. Uh. And they can just, like, if they find a blue, they can just pump the Falcon and draw cards. Alright, let's see that draw card. Oh, yeah, that card. I forgot I had that card. Um, okay. Remember our creature dies. Let's play the Sentry. Just say go, I guess. We'll just like get Conrad going. Whenever a creature dies, or a creature card is put into a graveyard anywhere other than the battlefield, or a creature card leaves your graveyard, one damage each opponent. Each player mills a card. They find the blue. That's bad. So they get to. Whatever they. Uh, yeah, so they're going to draw three. I also want to jump block. That sucks. All right. Yeah, it is what it is. They're not going to activate it. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Instead, they're going to play more. And so there you go. We draw a back street. They have mana up. This is a little weird, honestly. Uh, let's surveil. We bit a card here for nope. Right, bit this anyway. I'll play Conrad. I got a counter spell. No. Okay. So again, whatever creature dies. They have a gardener they wanted to use. I feel like drawing three there is pretty good. I don't know. Find an island. A lot of uh, a lot of little ones over here. She is small, but she is mighty. Alright, so they're going to dramatically accuse my Conrad. Obviously, the abilities still work. Uh, they can shuffle it away, though. And then they're again going to come in and threaten to draw three cards. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I want seven mana for my Glintweaver, probably. Draw your cards. Is what it is. They got doppelganging me again, maybe. All right, so got four cards here. 
Take one. We'll draw a district. All right, so we can glint weaver and just move some counters around, uh, or we can zoni, a zoni exiling creatures in my graveyard. I don't do anything. I, should, I don't actually have any uh, evidence for this thing, so let's survive again. So that's a great. In the land of the bin. Shit. All right, so let's go, big weeby boy. And four four two four two four. Is that correct? I have no idea. But here we are. We're both D'ing up pretty hard. Unfortunately, they have a bunch of cards in their hand. They'll probably just doppelgang me and I'll lose, but... 3-5 is interesting, but... Carefully tapping four. Oh my god. Alright. Unfortunately, we don't have any cards in our graveyard. You know, like... We have all these uh, evidence things. Nothing to do with them. So much evidence. Uh, all right. Really playing both sides of the ball here, right? We got the freaking two fifteen and the eight four. Conrad can mill. That is true. Uh, two, four, six, eight mana. Oh, that's fire of a mill. Player mills. Two creatures! Doing it. We had a six, too. That's kind of insane, actually. So, do we want a zoni? Or do we want to extract a confession to kill this thing and not just freaking die to it? We can mill again, too, but honestly, we can just mill more time. Then we gotta exile the creature and make his makes his little zone a little worse, but we gotta kill the mold thing, I think I agree. So alright, let's do this. That's uh confession. Conrad just gonna do he's gonna go to work here too. It's funny as they could shuffle it at any point. They have blue blue up, you know. Just gonna keep taking dings, keep taking dings. Alright, and then They have a 5-5 five, five possibly coming. They have, I think decking them is also a possible thing, too. And I think we're going to play an Inspector. Just make an Inspector, too. Just say go. I got to mill first, I guess, and see if we hit a thing, but... I think that we're just going to Conrad them. Yeah, obviously worse than murder. I mean, they could have done this like hours ago. I don't know why they didn't, but sure. Now let's do it again. So mill again. Mill over that guy. Mill a creature. Two more creatures. Ding, ding. Goes back in my deck. I have 19 cards. They have 14 cards. We also have a Reconstruction and an Azoni and another Edict. It's been a pretty cool game, honestly. We got four big blockers, all have reach. Some sneakier than others. They're just like obsessively tapping this red mana. Like every time they manually say, I dive, I have no red. Eavesdropper, sure. Clues, clues, clues. Two artifacts. Exiling the mole. Five, five. They just block here, right? Like, eh, maybe not, because I can just keep doing it over and over again. We should take five. 
We got a Zoe next turn, so that's cool as well. We have a, a Zoni. Macabre Reconstruction. Does suck to lose. I, I, I have spells, never mind. So let's just a Zoni. And uh, get rid of you guys. Just kind of keep doing our thing. I mean, let's play the land too. All right. I mean, a little bit of stalemate, I guess, but. If they have Doppelgang in their deck, we probably can't win. But, what are we going to do? Card's good. You know? Yeah, and we still haven't played a Morph. <laughs> We're over halfway through our deck. We build a Morph, I guess, but... Uh-oh. Well, it's not quite Doppelgang, but I guess that does it. I guess we're not dead yet. Not really. All right, block here. We have Reconstruction for a Chump Blocker next turn also. Uh, this is one, two, three. It's only four. This isn't that bad. Take three, four, take seven. Sure, take seven. I feel like casting this and having it not be lethal is like a probably a huge error, but um all right, let's go land. Macabre. Tipster morph. Or are we dead? are we dead now? We have two blockers. Block this and this. Take one, two, three, four. Oh we're we're, we're, we're dead to the pride now. I can pump it. Actually, it only pumps once, right? I can pump twice. Escape tunnel! Faith. Uh. Alright, well, I guess the uh, haste hexproof flying uh, basic forest gets us here. Alright, yeah, uh, they got us. Kind of an ugly game, but I guess this is what it is. That is one of the downsides to the, uh, like, the slower green decks. That, like, your opponent will steal most of their deck, and if they have a bomb, they will beat you with it. So, you need to make sure you're, like, you're really, really high-powered. So, yeah. Um, alright. And that, friends, is a good lesson why forcing archetypes is not really a good idea. And forcing the worst archetype is an even worse idea. Uh, open, open, gone, right? We saw how good it was, obviously, but, like, yeah. I mean, the green black decks are really, really bad. Uh, our opponents had some bombs, too, or whatever, but, like, yeah. The green black decks are just, just so unplayable. So, that's the format, folks. Let me know what you think about the format as a whole. What, do, 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 do you enjoy murders? Do you not enjoy murders? Uh, but, um, that's it. We're done. Next up is Thunder Junction. Yeah! Like, comment, subscribe. See you there, folks. Have a good one.